Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you how I have been using my Dyson Era. I have been slightly obsessed. I am very much on a journey of trying to get my hair healthy and strong and long, and I wanna reduce the heat that I'm using on my hair, so rather than blow drying it and then using a heat styling tool, this kinda of just does it all in one. I thought I would show you how I use it, some tips and tricks on how to make your hair last as long as possible, so let's just get right into it. Starting with freshly washed hair, I have my shower routine linked down below. It's pretty much the same. I let it air dry for a little bit. Like I do want it to be 70% dry. You can't start using the air wrap whenever your hair is fully wet right out of the shower. So you do need to give it some time to air dry or if you don't have that time, then just blow dry it partially. I used to not even put like any products in my hair and since going a little bit more of a natural color i'm really on a mission to grow it out and this is probably the longest my hair has been in a long time so i'm putting it on the products because i never was a product girl and i bleached my hair all the time and it just broke and it's definitely getting longer so the first thing i do is use this grow gorgeous original hair growth serum and it says use i think 20 drops but i just take whatever the syringe has and just drop it at my roots, mostly around the areas that are thinning or I'm losing hair, thanks to postpartum mostly. This does not aid in making your hair greasy at all. I thought, you know, putting it at your roots, surely it's gonna make my hair a little bit greasy even though it's freshly washed. It doesn't and it smells like men's clone, like a really nice one, so. Win -win. Next, I put in this Christopher Robin No Frizz. It's like a leave-in hair serum. I'm only gonna use one pump. I don't like to put too much in, and I like to really just keep it on the mid lengths and ends of my hair. Now this next product is the Olaplex Bond Smoother number six. Probably there's similarities. This one is a lot more natural if you prefer a natural product, but I just can't say no to this because it just, it does work so good. Even the shampoo can, li literally every number of the Olaplex does wonders for my hair. And of course, lastly, we need a heat protectant. This is a Kerastase one. It's the Youth Revitalizing bro bro <laughs> Blow Dry Care. Only one pump, less is more people. And I put this all throughout my hair. This feels like silk on your hair. And Kerastase products smell so good. Oh my goodness. And quickly go through and brush my hair. This brush is from Manta. It came in a PR product with something else, but I've been using it whenever my hair is damp, and then I tend to use a wide tooth comb whenever my hair is dry, so minimal brushing of the hair. We are ready to go. I recommend having a clip on hand so that you can keep your sections away whenever you're using the air wrap. As you know, if you received the air wrap or you're looking into it, it comes with eight different attachments. So two attachments are the larger air wrap barrel. There are another two barrels that are slightly thinner, two different brush heads, a round brush, and then of course the Dyson hair dryer, which is like that little loop. We're gonna use the two larger air wrap barrel attachments. I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair basically halfway, so right at my temples and across. So you have the power setting here. Once you press it up, it's gonna turn on. Over on the side, you have the fan speed, and then you have heat over on the side, and on the very back, you have the lock button. So as soon as you press it down like this, the attachment will come off, and then you just pop it back in if you want in, and it's locked until you unlock it, self-explanatory. It also has a cold shot, so on the power button, once you turn it on like that, you can tell it's turned on, but when you hold it up, it will be a cold shot. So naturally, warm air is coming out of that, but if you hold the power button up to the little blue dot, then it will be a cold shot, which is very necessary when using the air wrap. So I have the barrel on, looking at it, it looks like the arrows are going to the left, but when I look at it in the mirror, the arrows are going to the right, so I'm gonna use it on the right side of my head. I'm gonna part my hair so that I have two sections, one on each side. You're gonna to wanna to use inch thick piece sections. Now there are two barrel sizes like I mentioned. I have medium length hair. If you have hair longer than mine, you can purchase additional barrels that are even longer. Possibly looking into that just because I feel like I'm on the verge 
of it being too long so if you have longer hair than me you will probably need to get the extra long barrel just so that it has enough of a barrel for your hair to wrap around if that makes sense you'll probably see in some sections where it's really long that some of the hair is starting to go down here when it's getting dried I do you recommend making sure your hair has been brushed through i like holding it in the midsection right here turning on my air wrap holding it right at the ends of my hair and you'll see that it literally just grabs your hair wraps it around the barrel and slowly bring the air wrap up to the root you can go back and forth make sure your hair is fully dried once you feel it's fully dried then make sure to put on the cold shot this is essential for locking in that curl i like to keep it on for about five seconds and then i let go unwrap the hair and you will notice it is super bouncy super curly but I promise you this will fall and it will look a lot more tame. We're gonna continue doing the exact same thing for this portion of our hair, making sure every piece goes away from our face. This is one side done. Obviously, it looks dramatic <laughs> in the difference of curl. Again, like I mentioned, this will drop about 50%, so it'll come back down to here, but it'll be so voluminous and bouncy and still have a nice curl, but it will not stay this curly. This is a trick that I learned. At first, I brushed out every single section because I do that whenever I curl my hair, but there's still heat in my hair, so I want it to stay as long as possible. So I'm gonna take some hairspray. This one is by far my favorite. It's not crunchy, but it still holds your hair. Like, it still will give it that volume that it needs without it feeling like there's hairspray in your hair. It's a Kevin Murphy Session Spray Flex. Just do a little mist over that one section and then leave it and move on to the next section. To unlock, press down, pull up. With the opposite barrel, you're just gonna press it in and it's good to go. Now, if you feel like that is too much of a hassle for you, you can use the same barrel that you used on this side, but you do need to rotate the air wrap upside down for it to work on the other side. It literally takes two seconds to be switched and it comes with both anyways, so I think it is silly not to, but everyone has their preference. I like to switch it just because I like to hold it like this. I don't really like to hold it upside down, but it does come down to personal preference. So literally what we just did on this side, we're gonna just go ahead and do it on this side. That is the bottom section complete. We're still not gonna brush it through, so it might annoy you for a little bit longer, but we're gonna do the same thing on the top section. Once you get confident with using this, I can use it from start to finish in about 18, 20 minutes. Remember, you're using it from wet hair, so it eliminates blow drying your hair and then styling your hair. It does it all in one. It is a lot safer to use on your hair heat-wise, and that's why I'm always gravitating towards it because I'm trying to use minimal heat on my hair so instead of using a blow dryer and then using a heat styling tool that uses a lot of heat on your hair this eliminates a lot of that heat damage and does both of those things in one
look how intense that is right after you do it like full-on ringletty curls i don't think i would be able to just go out with this kind of hair i feel like shirley temple <laughs> All right, this is it fully done, freshly done. It is gonna drop, I'm mentioning that many a time because it will drop. Be prepared, this will not stay like this. First time I ever used the air wrap, it literally fell out by the end of the day and I didn't know what I was doing. I experimented with it for about a month, so I feel confident telling you what works for me and my hair type. I do have medium thickness hair, medium length hair, so these are just all suggestions. Now, this is gonna seem weird because I literally just washed my hair prior to filming this, but dry shampoo will help the process as well. This is a living proof dry shampoo. I love it. It is so good. I kind of just lift my hair and then drop it while spraying the dry shampoo. It just helps everything to stay in place a little bit longer. I don't know if it's because there's a bit of like grit to it or something, but it's been working for me. While it's setting a little bit more, I don't want to brush it through just quite yet because I want the top pieces to really cool down. I'm going to tell you what I do during the night to make it last four days because I only wash my hair every four days and I've only been using the air wrap. So my biggest trick is a silk scrunchie. You can literally get these anywhere, either a local shop or online. I flip my hair upside down and I'm going to demonstrate with like this front piece right here. Imagine this was all of my hair in this piece. So upside down right here and I'm going to bring it to the front of my forehead. Literally all your hair right here. You're going to take your scrunchie and tie it in like the loosest, just basically where it can like stay in one place in a ponytail. And you're going to sleep with all of your hair in the front of your head like this. It might seem weird, but I promise you when you take it out in the morning, your curl wave bounce will all still be there. Probably wondering how do you sleep with a ponytail literally right in front of your forehead. I just like flop it on top because I sleep on my face. So it just like flops on top and I don't notice. If you sleep on your back, you can just like flop it on the side. <laughs> Sounds so awkward, but I promise you, you look awkward for the night, but you get nice hair for four days. So that's what I've been doing. For now, to brush through this, I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb. My hairdresser just launched this and those silk scrunchies, so I'm just using those. But any wide tooth comb will do. And I'm just gonna lightly, very lightly brush through. And already it's looking 100% better. Unless you're into that Shirley Temple look, go for it. But I prefer a little bit of a softer look and you can already see the difference. So that's unbrushed, that's brushed, and again, it will still fall a little bit more than this, but for the most part, this is kinda the first day hair out of the air wrap. It will look a lot less curlier. Tomorrow will be more of like a soft curl wave, and then it will loosen throughout every day. But the first day, with using all these steps, cold shot, the hairspray, not brushing through, and then obviously the products I used prior, this will ensure you keeping your hair in this style for as long as possible. That is it. That's all my tips and tricks for using the Air app. I'm still going to play around with different hairstyles and different techniques that I can try and achieve from it. I haven't even used the thinner barrel yet, so I'm going to try that and then I can film some more tutorials for you. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below what other hairstyles you want to see, whether or not it's with the Hair app or another tool. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.